What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder, and ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves another awesome team to show off for you guys today. Today, we have ourselves a weakness policy, so Galio team, alongside with Choice Scarf, Dracofish, and Prankster Sableye. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that's been going out across the channel. We just passed 8,000 subscribers, so the road to 10k starts now. But getting started with this team, starting off in that top left corner, we have our Restricted Mom, which is Sogaleo. Full metal body, so his stats can't be dropped. We also have the Weakness Policy on him, so we can proc that and roll out from there. We got Rock Side, Sun Steel Strike for our stat move, EQ for coverage, and we can Trick Room with this Pokemon as well. Right next to him is going to be the Choice Scarf Draco Fish with the Strong Jaw and that Choice Scarf, like I said, gives him a little bit of speed boost. And then we got the move set of Fishes Ren, Rock Slide, Psychic Fangs, and Outrage. Middle left, we got Rillaboom, Grassy Surge, and Choice Band Item, Grassy Glide, Wood Hammer, U Turn, and High Horsepower as his move set. Right next to him is going to be our Assault Vest Mon with Entei, Inner Focus so we can't be flinched or get those stat drops. We also have Sacred Fire for Stab, Extreme Speed for First Turn Priority, Bulldoze to actually get some speed control, and Snarl to pester around and get special attack drops. I really do like this Entei moveset, considering we can rock out with Bulldoze and get our Moltres in there. So I can actually, ooh, wait a minute. Wait just a minute. I just realized we can actually proc policy with Solgaleo. Cannot drop his speed. Get speed control. Oh, yo, that's going to be powerful. That's going to be powerful. So Solgaleo and Entei can actually roll out together. I can proc policy and get speed control at the same time. So we're going to be looking forward for that one. Bottom left corner, we have Sableye, our little support mine over here. I love this Pokemon with a Focus Sash on him, so we can't get one tap. We have Fake Out for Flinches, Shadow Sneak for first turn priority, Taunt to Taunt support mines, and Quash. This move, you do not know what this move does. It will actually uh, slow down the other Pokemon. I wouldn't say slow down, but it makes the Pokemon that we use it on go last in a turn. So if there's someone super, super fast, we can Quash him, get some damage off on him before he goes. Final spot is going to go to Moltres with the Berserk ability and the Guav Berry to give it a little bit more HP. Dark and Flying type, Air Slash, Fire Wrath, Nasty, nasty Plot set up and protect as our final move. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder and try to get a winning record with this Sogaleo team. First battle coming at you guys, going up against the Kyogre Rain team, so nothing new here. He also has Incineroar, Zapdos, Rillaboom, um, Swift Swim, Kingdra, and... Scott for his tailwind like he really needs it but he's gonna roll out with that strong i'm gonna go so galio here try to get rolling and get Entei to try to get some speed control out here and proc the policy at the same time so i'm really digging that i'm liking that i think i need draco fish chewy scarf get some speed plus if he has rain gum fish trend is going to be unstoppable and then in the final spot real boom could come in here and work pretty well real boom's not bad or do i want to go save lag potentially quash later in the battle good fake out we go moltres moltres isn't too bad hmm what does jeans want to do here what do i just go real boom Rillaboom does have that high horsepower, he has the grass, he gladiates, all that good stuff. But I think I'm going to rock out with him, have two choice Pokemon in this battle, and try to get rolling and get ourselves a victory here in battle number one. But guys, let me know for question of the day. Do you guys want to see Mega Evolutions return into the next gen of Pokemon? Personally, for me, I would absolutely love to see it. And let me know if you guys are on board with Mega Evolutions. What Pokemon would you guys like to see have a Mega Evolution? I'm totally on board for Mega Evolutions. I feel like that was their best concept they ever came out with. It rocked out. It was so cool. And a Pokemon that I think deserves a Mega Evolution could be Flygon. I think Flygon could look really, really dope with a Mega Evolution. And, hmm, Dragapult could be dope. I think Dragapult could be really, really cool. Let me know in the comment section down below your guys' thoughts on question of the day. But he's going to roll out here with Incineroar and... Galarian Zapdos, not Galarian, regular Zapdos. And we're gonna go Entei and Solgaleo, and this is beautiful. We got full metal body, and we have inner focus. And I'm just gonna Dynamax my boy, so no flinch is gonna be able to come out here. Which is really dope. Yo, dude, these abilities popping off here. So he's gonna try to flinch either Solgaleo or Entei. He can't do it with Entei, we're inner focus, and Solgaleo's gonna Dynamax, so we're gonna be able to roll out from here and get popping. Now the real question is, do I get the special defense boost? Do I drop a rock? I might drop a rock. Hmm. I could just get rid of Incineroar and get a special defense boost. I think that could be decently well. I think we could buzz from there. I'm kind of digging it. I can go here. I can just drop a bulldoze. Start getting some speed control, proc that policy, and then take out that Incineroar, no problem. I'm with it, and then we just get that special defense boost on top of this. So I'm digging it. But guys, let me know how my lighting is hopefully my lighting is not too bad right now because i usually have two lights up top above my monitor but for right now we only have one up top and one down low because yesterday i was sitting there editing and everything 
and next thing I know, one of my lights fell, and I was looking for a command strip to put it back up there, and I couldn't find one for the life of me, and I swear they're around my house somewhere. Did you guys ever get something? Oh, yeah, we just dodged a heat wave. Okay, you'd love to see it. Oh, wait, wait. We'll, we'll get back to the lighting situation after this play. We just dodged a nice heat wave. Proctor policy slowing down this Incineroar, and I think we're going to dump on it. I think we're going to dump on it here. Let's see what happens here. There's that speed drop, so that's what I love about it. We get the speed drop all around. Oh, is this thing a eject button? Oh, what? Oh, he's policy. Okay. I'm with it. You're dead. You're dead, so we just get rid of his weakest policy mod, and that's huge. That is huge. Get him out of here. I'm going to get a special defense boost as well. A big turn from us. We're starting off strong. But back to my little story. I was looking for a command strip. Couldn't find it for the life of me. And I swear it's around the house somewhere. So I was wondering if you guys have any items like that. Like where you guys really need something at the moment. And you swore you've seen it before. And you just can't find it for the life of you. That is what's going on with me right now. So I think you're going to have to head to the store after the recording. Or find it. Because I know it's here. Like I've seen it like maybe a month ago. And it's got to be around here somewhere. But strong first turn from your boy. We got out here rocking. Got that weakness policy proc. Actually ended up dodging two moves, which is phenomenal. I don't really think they were doing too, too much to me anyway, so we're, th we're fine here. And he brings out the Rillaboom with the grassy surge. With a surge that is full of grass. And I feel like I could just drop a rock and go for a sacred fire here. And get bumping from there. I, I feel like we're, we're, we're pretty much chilling. He goes here for my rock fall. And a lovely little sacred fire. A lovely sacred fire. It'd be so good that teams rock out. I feel like the last one I used, I really did well with it. And he's, and he's really, really strong. He's a, he's a good restricted mom, but he's not, like, on that broken tier. Like, top tier is going to be Zacian, Kyogre, and I'll put Groudon up there. Or I might actually throw Groudon in, like, the A tier, but Sogeo is right in the A, -T a, a tier. He's really, really strong. He can do a lot, and he rolls out perfectly. He's going to swap back his roll, maybe trying to look for a read here. And I guess that was his play. And I actually love that play. I love that play because he's going to set weather. He's going to be like, oh, he's dropping a sacred fire. But I'm dropping a rock, and I'm going to change the weather up. Your boy's looking real well. And he's going to bring Bird in here. He's going to bring Bird, man. He's going to Dynamax Bird guy. Bird person from Rick and Morty. If you guys watch Rick and Morty, that's a good show. That's a good show. That's for my older audience. show is hilarious. And it has a pretty decent story to it. There's a lot going on. Rick and Morty also rocks out. I'm a big Family Guy person. Family Guy, my favorite show all time. It's so funny. I love the little quirky jokes and everything. Just cracks me up. Take a fire comes through. Gonna do like no damage, but still. We force a swap, which I dig. And we're gonna get rid of weather. He's gonna get an airstream bumping up here. Hit my Entei, and Entei says, yo, that's tasty snack you got there. And after I change this weather, I think we're just gonna get a defense boost and hit that Kyogre as hard as we can with the steel spike. And it's gonna be play. Rockfall comes out. Get him. Get him. Change up this weather. Built. Oh, and we just dump on him. Yo, weakness policy, so Galio is rolling out strong. Yo, we haven't lost a Pokemon yet. We have not lost a Pokemon. And we have one more turn in Dynamax. I'm liking the way we're starting. I'm liking the way we're starting here. But I can't wait for a uh, Pokemon Snap. Because hopefully you guys don't mind all the, all the uh, online double battles that have been going out here. I have legit no other games to play right now. And I didn't want to start a playthrough and then have it cut off by Pokemon Snap. So I was like, let's just go like these 20 to 25 days. Just sending out some Pokemon uh, Double Battles content until Pokemon Snap comes out April 30th. Then we can start a playthrough on that. And then we have Skyward Sword coming out in the summer HD remake, which we're going to be busting out a playthrough on that as well, which is going to be hype. And then that will lead up to Splatoon and all the new games coming out for Nintendo so I can have some playthroughs and other content rolling out for you guys. That's going to be a lot of fun. And then we still have uh, Diamond and Pearl remakes. It's going to be dope. But oh, we're just going to go Steel Spike over on you. And I think I just, uh, I think I just Snarl. I think I just Snarl. Try to drop that Kyogre special attack. I'm with it. Skull comes out here. We should be able to eat that up, no problems. We're soul vested. Yeah. Yo, come on. I want the sweep. I want the sweep all day. Snarl coming out here. Get it. Should be able to get a nice uh, defense boost. And this should be able to take out Robu. He's not going for a glide. He might be going for like wood hammer or something along those lines. There goes my seal spike. We should get say get out of my face. Get him out of here, yo. I'm rolling. I'm rolling real well today. Well, yo, I want the sweep. I don't want my Entei to go down. Which I think Entei's gonna go down. Hopefully he quits the battle. I don't have protect on my Entei. I have extreme speed. I do have snarl. So if I want to go for a snarl and actually lowers a special attack again, it's possible. But I think he's just gonna take me out. I think he's just gonna take me out and we're gonna lose the sweep. Come on, yo. Hit that run button. You know you're not winning. You know you're not winning. My Soul Gale is almost at full HP. Weakness policy proc. I'm digging this. I am digging this. 
I probably should have bulldozed last turn just to get the speed job if I was really looking for a sweep. But I think we're fine here. Um, we can go out with a EQ. EQ, actually, we're just going to take out our Entei. Entei, I'm sorry, buddy. But this is our best bet. It's a nice, lovely EQ. Hopefully he runs. He does not run. The extreme speed comes out here. I'm going to take away our sweep. Water spouts can come out here. I mean, he was taking out our Entei regardless. Yeah, sorry, Entei. There goes my sweep. I really want the sweep, but Soul Gallery is going to do everything on his own. Not going to go down, and he should be able to take out Kai over here, no problem with this EQ. Even though it's not stabbed, should be able to do enough, right? Does not. So he stays live another another turn. Come on, yo, just quit the battle. You're not winning this one. I'm just going to bring out Robo and Grass Guide on you. They have Draco Fish here as well. I didn't even have to bring out any of them. Not one of them. We would have been thriving here. We would have been thriving here. We're fine. I had that Draco Fish in case he had that weather control. In case he was able to just uh, get all that weather control rolling. So I could bring my boy out in the rain. But there's no need. There's no need. We were thriving. We took that from him and dominate this first battle. Grass guy's going to come out here. Pick up the KO. And we're going to get started 1-0. Now we can hop to our second battle. And look to go back-to-back -back and start 2-0 for today's video. Looking to become the two-time back-to-back champion battle number two. We're going up against an Ice Rider Cadillac Extreme alongside with Galarian Moltres, Urshifu, Sylveon, Regilecki for speed control. And he has Entei, who can do speed control as well. And he has Snarl. Gotta look out for that. Gotta watch out. Um, Ice Rider Cadillac is going to be my big threat. That's definitely a big threat. But I feel like, I just feel like we can go into Solgaleo here and proc policy again. I feel like there's, you give me no reason not to. Like, it just seems like it works so well. That we can just we can just roll out here and get after it. I am digging that. I am digging that. I think I bring Draco Fish. Just has a nice tree scarf back end mon. And then in the final spot, I think we're gonna go Galarian Moltres as our final Pokemon. I am liking that. I'm digging it. I am digging it. Alright, let's get it. Let's go. I'm kinda scared of this team, but he has that Ice Rider Calyx alongside with no trick room. And that's where I feel like I can sneak in away and win this battle. That's where I'm thinking. Because usually, like, once you have an Ice Rider Calyrex set up in a Trick Room, it's kind of tough to get him out of there. But he doesn't have no Trick Room on, so maybe we can do this. Or maybe he does? I believe he doesn't. I, I, I don't think he does. I don't think he has any Pokemon in the Trick Room. He goes out with the Glaring Moltres and the Ice Rider Calyrex. Okay. So I go Entei and Solgaleo here. Um, are we going to go proc? Are we going to go double proc here? What do I do? Do I, do I proc my policy? I think I do proc my policy. No problem. And then do I drop a rock onto uh? No, I think we just go for this uh, defense boost and we go steel spike, steel spike for stab and get rid of this Calyrex. So I was going to say, do I drop a rock on the on the bird? But this is going to be my plan. We get an effort like this. We're going to slow down Ice Rider Calyrex. We're going to try to get him out. Because if I can get him out of the way here, we'll be thriving. Because I know I can eat up whatever Glarian Moltres has to offer and drop a rock next turn. Or I can Snarl up next turn and lower his special attack. So that could be play. But the thing is here, any of these Pokemon could be holding weakness policy. Any of these guys. Let's see what he does here. Let's see what he's playing. He is going to end up Dynamaxing. Show me Bird. Actually, I don't really care who he Dynamaxes. I am kind of wondering. Let's see. He is going to go Bird. He's going to go Bird, man. And I think he's going to look to go for a Max Air I think that's his play. I think that's 100% his play. Hopefully he doesn't protect the Ice, ice Rider. If he doesn't, we should be fine here. Okay, he doesn't protect. Boulder's going to th come through here. Hit up on the Calyrex. Slow him down a little bit. Proctor policy. And we should be able to take out Ice Rider with no problem. With no problem. He shouldn't even be able to get a turn. And we got a crit on the Calyrex. You'd love to see it. There goes that speed drop. We're going to come out here. We're going to go with Steel Spike. Take him out. Get a defense boost. And then I think I just snarl up from here. And try to keep dropping this uh, Glorian Bird's uh, special attack. That's going to be play. That is going to be play. I'm digging this team. I'm liking it a lot. I am liking this team a lot right now. Getting rid of a really strong mod. Now if we can get rid of this guy, we should be thriving here. Here goes the Airstream into my Entei slot. That's beautiful. We have our Assault Vest. We thrive in here. Assault Vest is so nice. Do they make an item that's an Assault Vest but for physical attacking? The Assault Vest just makes special attack uh, moves do less. But I don't think they have one for physical, which is kind of weird. Which is kind of weird to me. Hey. Alright, who's he going to throw out? I wonder, man. I wonder. Is it going to be Sylveon? I feel like he has to have Sylveon in this back end, right? No, he's going to go Entei for Entei. 
Uh, oh, he has pressure on this one. Okay. I see you. He has pressure on this one. Um, I think I'm just Snarl. Snarl's gonna be safe by. Do I have a Rock Vault or... Ooh. Hmm. First defense boost could be good, and we could take out Entei at the same time. I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. I'm digging this turn. He's gonna get drop of darkness. I'll tell Entei, right? Nope, so Galio. And, okay, we eat. And we should be faster than that. And actually, I don't know. It's gonna be tough. He gets a crit. Ooh, I don't like that one bit. I don't like that one bit. So he might be doubling up into me. There goes my snarl. Well, if this Entei takes out my so Galio, it could be a tough turn for us. It'll be a real tough turn. Well, also, Galio, outspeed him. Nope, sacred fire. Ooh. We dead. We dead. Dang it, dude. I needed at least one more turn there. He's, he really got a crit. He really got a crit. That just saved him. That might have just saved the game. Um, I could roll out Draco Fish. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to roll out Draco Fish. I'm going to start throwing Fish's friends. I can definitely start jumping on Pokemon. And Draco Fish could be our, our little back end savior here. I love Draco Fish. So, yeah, let's go. Uh, what could he start in Final Mombi? That's my question. I mean, I'm fine with any of these guys. I feel like most of them cannot really take a fish's run. I'm just going to snarl up again. That's what I need to do onto this bird. And I'm just going to fish run. I'm not going to proc policy on that thing. But I think it's holding the policy. I'm going to wait till that thing Dynamaxes out. And then we can roll from there. I think it could protect. But some of them don't roll it. Like, my Entei doesn't have protect on it. So hopefully his doesn't. And we can take out this Entei no problem. And then get a special attack drop onto that bird. What happens here? Team Speed's going to come in here. Alright, man. I see you. Draco Fish does not go. He does not go. But he we, we eat. Which is huge. Wow, that plus one bird outspeeds my choice scarf Draco Fish? A little weird. Here's my fish's friend. So this might not KO now. Let's see. Hopefully it does. Okay, it still does. Yeah, Draco Fish a beast. He's too good. He's too good. Because it's double damage when he goes first. So it was double damage, but it's still KO'd. We get another another special attack drop, and he cannot swap. And he cannot swap. And who's my final mon? I still have my bird. That's big. Nice big attacker in her back end. And he's gonna go show me another special attacker. We go Ursh. Don't like it one bit. Okay. Wait, Urshifu is sitting here. Could go for the burn. Hmm, I don't want to proc policy. That's my thing. Okay, I have to go into fish run anyway. I think we're gonna double up into this slot. Because his Earth Fruit is what's posing a threat right now. Do I get a burn on him? I do, like I said, I have the burn. I have the burn in the back end. Fire Rats can come through. Eat up, Draco. Draco, I need you eating. Ah, Draco doesn't eat. He's gonna pick up the double kill. He is gonna be able to pick up the double kill, which is tough. Oh no, we outspeed. That is lovely. But he's still gonna pick up the double kill. And we get off we get rid of this thing sash, which I really like. Wicked Boy's gonna come through here. And we get rid of Sash, which is huge turn for us. Automatic crit. I was going to say, he really just get a crit, but nah. It's automatic crit. It's crit every single time. And, ooh, I don't know about this one, man. I don't know about this one. What did, What was Entei's speed? Entei's pretty fast. Entei's pretty fast. I think he's just going to dump on me here. Not a fan. Not a fan of this at all. Let's see. 121. Ente speed is 163. Oh, no. 176. Seems rather fast. So, hmm. I think both his Pokemon are going to be able to outspeed me. I think I have to go for an Air Slash and get rid of this guy. Protects can come out here. Oh, you. You son of a gun. You son of a gun, man. Hurricane's going to come out here. Dang it. It connects. We eat, though. We eat really, really well. And, of course, he gets the ducks. What you mean? Ducks are swirling. I'm confused. And I hit myself. Even though he's protected. I'd rather uh, not take the damage. Alright. Right back after him. Straight for him. Straight for him. Let's see what he goes for. Hurricane comes out. Connects again. What you mean? Close combat comes through. And that's GG's. Now that's GG's. So a little bit luck on this guy's side, but all around good battle for battle number two. We are sitting at one and one now, and we're gonna hop into our third and final battle and look to get that winning record. This third battle is the real test for this team. Going up against a Kyogre Confi team alongside with Tornadus, Raichu, Rillaboom, 
and Regilecki. So real tests for this team. Can it withstand top tier teams? And I think you can. I think this team is really, really good. We just got to take weather control and we got to uh, get after it. Um, I'm trying to think who he might lead and get after. He might lead the Confi. I think Solgaleo just rocks out here. Same thing with the Entei. The speed control is really, really nice here. So I can slow down and change up weather. So I think we roll out with that. Um, in our next spot, I think we got to bring Roboom. Roboom could be really, really good. I really want to bring you because I can quash all day. Let me see. Let me see this guy real quick. We have the taunt. We have the shadow sneak. We have the fake out. We have all that, which is really, really nice. Do I lead him? You know what? You know? No, no, dude. I'm really liking this. I'm really liking this. I was going to try something new, but I'm really liking this. I was going to go in with Sableye and Rillaboom and uh, see how that works. But we're going to bring Draco. And then do I bring Rillaboom in the back end? Hmm, I think we're going to end up bringing Moltres. I think Moltres is going to be the play. Let's rock out. Let's get after it and get that winning record for you guys. I'm looking for it. But guys, I've been thinking. I'm not. It's not official yet. But I'm just throwing this idea out to you guys so you guys know what's up with the channel. But I'm thinking at 10k, we do a little merchandise drop. Merchandise drop, I think that could be cool. I was thinking of doing little dad hats with like the brand black hat with a little jeans logo on it. Little bracelets. Little small like lace bracelets. I think that could be pretty cool. And maybe some uh, pants and a shirt. Just a small little drop. I think that could be cool. So let me know in the comment section down below if you guys would be down with it. And for the merch, I, I think, personally, I would like something that would be comfy, something you can wear around, like, out when you're going out with family or, like, with your friends and all that stuff, or if you're chilling in. That's why I want, like, to have to have, like, something small so it's not too bulky or anything. So, let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are liking those ideas. But he leads to Tornadus and the Rillaboom. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna Sacred Fire. I'm just gonna get it. Actually, what am I doing? What are you doing, Jeans? You're not gonna Sacred Fire. You're gonna Bulldoze and you're gonna drop a rock. We're going to Bulldoze and... Oh, or do I... Do I drop a rock just in case he swaps this turn? I need to get rid of the Tornadus. I have weather on my side for right now. Yeah, let's just do this. Let's drop the rock. Can you smell what the rock is cooking, baby? We getting after it. <laughs> Yo, I've been having so much fun recording lately. I don't know why. I think I've just been on my grind. I've been waking up early to record for you guys, edit all that stuff, then going to the gym, then from gym straight to work, and then coming back doing some school work editing and all that stuff. But I've been loving it, every bit of it. Because I like to stay busy. I really do all around. There's always been like, okay, like let's get stuff done, let's be busy. Always been like that. So I don't mind it. But yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying the content because I'm I am i am still having a blast uh, recording it. But he, I think he's just swapping the Kyogre here. Which would be really nice for us. I really do like that. If he does swap in the Kyogre. If he swaps in the Kyogre, this will work out perfectly. Because we can take out Tornadus and we can take Weather Control. And no, he's going to swap into Raichu. Raichu. Raichu gets out here. I think he's going to bulldoze. It doesn't affect Tornadus. Oh, we are going to get a hit off on Raichu, which is nice. Slow him down. Lovely. Proc policy. And we're going to be able to take out Tornadus. No problem. Tornadus is gone. Tornadus is gone. He's going to be sashed. We already know that. But the buff is, is going to come out here and say, hey, get out of my game. Get him out of here. Bah. So we pretty much know his team. Because we're just going to predict that last spot is that Kyogre. So he has Rillaboom, Kyogre, Raichu, and Tornadus is done. I'm fine with it. He's probably... Well, he can't fake me out. He can't fake me out. I was going to say, he's probably going to fake me out, but he cannot. This lead right here is just unfake outable once you die to Max and Solgaleo. Buff it's by the storm game popping. And neglected by the grassy train. Alright, is he gonna bring back out Robin? That's my question. I think I just drop a special defense. It depends. If he brings out Kyogre, Kyogre, I'm gonna drop another rock. To change up weather. But if he doesn't bring out Kyogre, then I'm gonna get a special defense piece. He is gonna bring out Kyogre. So there's the final mon. We see he might end up Dynamaxing. So there goes the drizzle. I'm gonna drop a rock over all actually I'm gonna bulldoze all around. The reason I am going to bulldoze is just to get that slowdown on everybody. And drop the rock onto the Kyogre slot. Yeah. So if I don't bulldoze, he has a chance of uh, getting off a Water Spout or an Orange Impulse or a Dynamax move at full HP. So I'm just like, we got to slow this thing down. Get after it. Hit up on him. And he's going to end up Dynamax. Okay. I'm with it. I'm totally with it. The Bulldoze should work in their favor. Raichu's already minus one because of the U-turn swap. 
I'm digging it. I'm digging it. And I still have uh, Galarian Moltres in the back end, so I'm really not too worried about Roboom. I can come out there and air slash it up, do some big damage and roll off from there. Nuzzle comes out. Ooh, ooh, power move. The power move with the nuzzle. And you're gonna outspeed and he's going after. He's going after, that's my real question. You go after Shoka, who I think should be able to eat. Boulders comes through, even though we're hitting up on my Sokaleo. That's totally fine. I wanted that slow down for everybody. We get a crit on the Kai. And I need I, I cannot be paralyzed here. If we don't if we're not paralyzed here, we should be able to win this game. But if we are, we're fine. Okay, let's go. Rock ball comes out. Change up the weather. Doing some big damage on this Kyogre slot, which is lovely. Which is lovely. So there's that. Now, do I guard? Do I bulldoze again? I might guard and bulldoze again. Or do I just take out the Raichu? Hmm. What is the play? I think a guard in here. But he might come across with a, another geyser. What do I think he's going to do? What does Jeans think he's going to do? I'm actually just going to snarl here. Not knowing that thing's attack. And I think I'm just going to guard. I think guard's going to be player. Let's see. Because I think snarl should come out first. Now that Kyogre's minus one and Raichu is minus two. I don't think Raichu's as fast as my Entei now. But Soka is definitely the slowest due to little nuzzle buzzle. This paralyzed the slowest down. And Raichu's still gonna have speed. Dang, this thing is fast. This thing is cooking. And he gets a crit. Dude's crit master over here. Show me your uh, guys are into me. Yes. He geysers up. We get the block. Hopefully Snarl comes out. Yep, Snarl connects. There's a big special attack drop. So your, your boy's looking real good right now. He's playing really well. Special attack drop coming out. Get him on both of them. I really like. Buffett's going to pop out here. And Terrain is just going to neglect it. Alright, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, who else do I have? I still have don't I still have Dracofish? Kind of poses a threat, kind of doesn't. A little bit of both. A little bit of half and half. Uh, I think I go for an extreme speed. Try to take out Raichu here. And then uh, see if I can get something going with my, my Solgaleo. Alright, extreme speed coming at you. Doing that. And then could drop an EQ. Could drop a Rock Slide. No Sun Shield Spikes. Even though I love this move right here. Uh, let's just drop a Rock Slide. Let's drop a Slide because it's the only thing that is uh, effective. Other two are just not very effective. Gonna do no damage. Yeah, did you see that lady in the crowd? She was just like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Extreme Speed comes out, picks up the KO. Now she's like, yeah, yeah, jeans, get him. Yeah. <laughs> Max Geyser comes out here. Uh, I'm fine with that. Geyser comes out. He's going to end up having full weather control. Fine. Get out of my face. Did I end up bringing Roboom or was it the Draco? I think I brought the Draco. Let's see. But his Dynamax turns over. He's minus one on special attack. He's going to bring out Roboom. And he could fake me out, to be honest with you. Oh, that's why he's out speed. He had a Tailwind this whole time. He had a Tailwind this whole time. I was wondering why he's out speed like that. Yo, he had a Tailwind this whole time. Uh, we're going to bring out Draco Fish here. Just because Rain's rolling. I like to use it to my advantage. Rain is rolling. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. Play is going to be... I think I just snarl. That could be play. Yeah, we're just going to snarl. I'm going to drop a fish's rank. Because I feel like we can do a decent amount of damage over onto this uh, roll boom slot. Am I right? I think I'm right. I think fish's rank is a play in the rain right now. Let's see what happens here. Grass guy come out. Drake fish says, yo, that's a tasty snack. Thank you very much. He's going to show he's orb. Here's my fish run. Show me some decent damage here. That's some decent damage. And takes paralyzed, of course. Of course. And he's gonna be able to drop a thunder. Hey, hey! Show me. Alright, he drops thunder. Alright. I was looking a bit closer now. Um What does Jeans do here? I think an air slash takes out Roboom, no problem. 
think this could take me out, take him out, no problem. Grass is gone. He has no first turn priority, which I'm loving. And no boost on his moves. Moltres is going to come out here. We still have a Guava Berry. Kyogre's minus one on speed and special turn. All right. Um, hmm. I think I just snarl here. And air slash. Get after him. Let's do it. Let's do it. He can thunder on me, which is scary. Thunder's hitting 100% of the time. Here's my air slash. Do we get the KO? We do get the KO. The Moltres, all you gotta do is eat one shot. You eat this thunder, we win. Actually, this is perfect. Snarl came out before this Ky before this uh, Kyogre went. Awesome. Drop it, minus two. We should be able to eat up the thunder, no problem. It's gonna hit, because it's in the rain. Tasty snack, he got there. We silver, Guava Berry. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, yo. Beautiful eats. And Berserk popping? Ooh. Yo, two and one? You guys love to see it. Solid set of battles for today. I'm, I'm guaranteeing you guys a two and one here. I'm just gonna uh, start extreme speeding. And uh, would Fire Wrath be better? We go for the flinch. Hmm. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for the Fire Wrath. There's only one Pokemon on the field. So we're gonna get after it. Extreme speed hits, connects. Bang, doing some damage. And Fire Wrath Berserk should be able to pick up a KO. Say GG's. Right? Right? Show it to me. Yes, sir. 2 and 1 for today's video. Awesome set of battles. Got to rock out with the Soul Galio team and show it to its fullest potential. Got that winning record for you guys, went 2-1 and one and dominated with this Sogelio team. I absolutely love the Sogelio and Entei combo. It rocked out in every single situation. You can't really be flinched, you can get speed control, and plus you get a Dynamax Mon with its weakness policy proc. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.